The CEO of Hertz is stepping down. Bloomberg is reporting right now that Hertz it plans to replace CEO Stephen Scherer. This is after that big bet on electric vehicles turned in to, well, not quite as they had planned. Now, former Cruise COO Gil West will be stepping into his place here. Uh, Hertz shares are getting a modest bid here uh, in after hours, trading up about 1%. Once again, the headline, Stephen Scherer, uh, the CEO over there at Hertz, the chairman as well, uh, stepping down as CEO, and we're told that Gil West will fill that CEO role. Detroit Bureau Chief David Welch joining us right now for a little bit more on this. And can we trace a line from this decision back to that decision? a couple of years ago to make that big bet and that big purchase of electric vehicles. Yeah, so clear, clearly it is. Uh, you know, this, this is a business that has recovered since the pandemic. And at other companies, uh, specifically Avis, their chief rival, uh, enterprises, private, so we don't get to see uh, their financials. But Avis has made pretty good money. Hertz lost money and twice as much as the street thought in the fourth quarter. And a lot of that is because of this 245 million dollar charge because of all these EVs uh, that they bought, mostly Teslas. They uh, The cars depreciated faster. They weren't renting out as much. They didn't get as much for them at the rental counter. And there were higher repair costs. And they really went along with it. Uh, the, the only odd thing about this is well, the uh, the people at Nighthead and Centauri's, they're the two private equity companies that bought Hertz and took it through bankruptcy. Yeah, This was kind of their strategy. They brought Stephen Schur in to execute it. So there must have been disputes over how it was executed because yeah. this wasn't only his baby, but he's he, he's essentially leaving as, as this is being Yeah. Around. Well, that's the thing I was interested about here, Scarlett, because I was looking at the timeline, mm -hmm. and I'm like, they made that decision to buy these vehicles before Schur was actually put into place. Yeah, and it's not yeah. a one-man decision either, yeah. right? I mean, this is something that the company got yeah. on board with. So so, David, what's interesting here is that Stephen Scherer uh, is leaving or is being pushed out because of this, and he's being replaced by Gil West, who's a former CEO of G GM's Cruise Robo Taxi unit. Does that mean that Hertz is backing away from EVs, but maybe transitioning more towards focusing on self driving cars? How do we read into that? No, I think it's more, you look deeper into Gil West's background. He was, uh, he was the COO for uh, Delta Airlines. So I think they're looking for somebody with consumer experience uh, uh, in, in you know, flights, scheduling, travel, that sort of thing. Hertz has done this before when Car uh, Carl Icahn was the controlling shareholder. They hired John Tagway from United Airlines. Uh, it, it didn't work out that well. John was only there a couple of years, and Hertz never really got out of trouble under Icon's leadership, no matter who he put in the chair. But, you know, they're, they're looking for someone with that travel expertise who can do scheduling, fleet management, and that sort of thing like you do with with planes. I, I think the challenge for somebody like Gil West, the same thing with Stephen Scherer and with a lot of past CEOs, is where you make or break companes in, in the rental business is do you yeah. buy the right vehicles and you do, and you buy the right amount of them at the right time yeah. and that's yeah. where the purse has gotten in trouble is mistiming the market with the vehicles they buy sure. and getting burned in the used market later.